Today, what we're seeing is our students participating in our spay-neuter labs. So we're providing free healthcare services for animals from shelters and other local organizations that need assistance with providing preventative care for the animals, as well as spays and neuters to reduce the overpopulation of pets in our area. The most important thing about today is what? What is our priority? The patient. The patient. Always the patient, Always. right? All right, let's go. Let's see you. We do blood work, we do the physical exams, we do urinalysis, we prep for anesthesia. I was doing a lot of lab work, so I was doing the microscope, doing blood smears to look at the morphology of the cells to make sure that there wasn't any problems that would hinder them from doing the surgery. If you're doing the blood over here, I'll grab it and put it in the machine. Okay. We're taking Are you gonna x-rays take... today as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Our patient had a elevated ALT, which is an enzyme that's made by the liver. And so we're worried about her liver function right now, but we checked the other results and so far they look good. Can we make the surgery? Yes. Yeah. Surgery can be a very chaotic thing if you aren't prepared beforehand with every little thing. Um, it's definitely kind of scary. You can study as much as you want and you can think that you have everything in your mind and that you know the concepts, but once you are in there, you forget everything because you have the patient, you have the professor asking you questions. Well, she was pretty high um, on the ISO, so we did just lower it so we can kind of monitor it and see where it goes. Oh, it's real. Because the patient's life is in your hands. If you don't know how to act and what to do, you, you can kill your patient. It's 100% real. Yeah. Doesn't get any realer than that. So, Cutting. There's a good chance she's going to be 95 now. So every time you take a reading, can you please communicate with Felipe that it's time for a breath? We want them to get used to having to think on their feet. In this environment, you know, there's four of us here, so the patients are safe because we're here to step in at all times, so there's a huge safety net for them. Everything went well in there. Um, we were able to keep her on a low plane of anesthesia, mm. blood pressures, heart rate, everything. It was really steady throughout the entire uh, procedure. She was able to wake up um, very nicely and quickly, which you want. For me, it was meaningful because I've never worked in practice before, so I know next year I'm supposed to be going to externship. So having this experience beforehand, you know, it gives me that little nudge, so I'm not as scared in the externship as I would be if I didn't have this experience.